astrologer Wonder Girl taking you to new heights. Here is your monthly forecast for the month of March 2018. Now before I get started, I just have one announcement. I did do a March 2018 webinar. If you are interested in seeing the recording, please click the link down below in my description box in order to learn more about that video. In it, I do talk a lot about your sign, Aries, <laughs> and about the sign before you Pisces because we got a lot of planets moving through this area, okay? And I try to give you a bigger perspective and a bigger framework on what is going on and how to think about both of these signs. What I see happening this month is that we're trying to overcome the past, get rid of all this stuff that's bogging us down here so that we can live more freely uh, in a new life, being a new person, acting on some things that are really, really important to us personally, which I know you like to do Aries. <laughs> okay, so if you're interested in learning more about that, please check the link down below in my description box in order to learn more. All right, so that's what I've got going on there. Now, Aries, for your horoscope, what we've got happening on the very first day of March is we've got a full moon coming in in Virgo right here for you. And that's going to be your sixth house of your job and of your daily routines. That's going to bring some kind of ending um, or maybe even a completion here in your job. Maybe ending a job, ending a set of daily routines, maybe stepping into a job, excuse me, or a set of daily routines that it is that you've been waiting for in some way, okay? I think you're just trying here at this full moon to get your job in order, to get your life in a very physical way in order, and to get your daily routines in the right place that is better for you. I think the reason why you're trying to do that is so that eventually here at the new moon, March 17th in Pisces, <laughs> so that you can start to feel more comfortable with your life, so that you can start to do things that you really want, that really resonates with you internally in some way. With the new moon being here in your 12th house of your insides and of your spirituality. And I think at the full moon, at the beginning of the month, you're trying to take care of all the external and physical needs in your life so that you can eventually, at the middle of the month, focus more on the things you cannot see, on the things that are inside you, to feel more at peace with your life and to do more of the things that really, really resonate with you uh, spiritually and intuitively, okay? So that's, to me, what a lot of this month, especially the beginning of the month, is all about, all right? As you are trying to figure this out and to think more about what's going on inside you, what um, you need inside to feel more comfortable in life, I think there are some positive things that can come from it. That's because at the beginning of the month, we do have these planets here in Capricorn, uh, both Saturn and Pluto making a sextile to these Pisces planets. And Capricorn for you rules your 10th house of your career, your reputation, and your social standing. So anything that you can do here to tie up some loose ends at work so that you can create a life that really resonates with you on the inside is going to help you here to put your life in the direction you want it to go in, to have the career that you want, to have the social standing and the reputation that you want, to increase your social standing and increase your reputation, okay? So I see there being a lot of good things coming if you can just take care of your life the way that it needs to be so you can listen to the promptings of the soul and the spirit, all right? I think that's going to be a good thing. Another thing that's going to be good for you, especially at the beginning of the month and between these moons, <laughs> is going to be right here where Jupiter is. And that for you is in your eighth house of changes and endings and beginnings with Jupiter also making a trine over here to Pisces in your 12th house. So anything that you can do to get right with yourself is not only going to put your life in a better place, give you the career, the reputation that you want, it's also going to help you here to make some changes you need to make in life to do something you really want, <laughs> to live a life you really want, to feel better about your life, okay? To heal some deep emotions under the surface, okay? So that you can finally start to feel like you're doing something that you want to do that's really good for you in a really big way to help you do some things that you need. All right, so that's what I see going on there. Now the challenge that you're gonna have at the beginning of the month while you're trying to get right with yourself and put your life in the right direction is gonna be right here where Mars is. And that's gonna be in your ninth house of something new and different that you have not done before with Mars squaring these Pisces planets and especially squaring Chiron. Okay, so as you're trying to, I wanna say, get right with yourself and to put your life in a better place, okay, and to heal some deep emotional feelings so that you can move forward here. It could be a little bit uncomfortable because there's something new that you haven't done before. You haven't done this. 
you know, either, you know, you don't know if this is going to work or not. You don't know if you're really going to like this new thing that you're trying to do. All you know is that there's some inner prompting that's telling you that you need to make a change to put your life in a better spot. And I think that's the challenge is you need to not be afraid to do something new. You need to not be afraid to not know what the future holds for you. Okay. And you need to keep moving forward on some spiritual prompting here, even if it is new or different so that you can eventually start to feel better <laughs> all right so i think that's what's going on if you can start to feel better inside about some new thing that you're doing so that you can put your life in a better place it is going to help you here where uranus is in your first house with mars and a trine to uranus it is going to help you do some things you want to do that you know you need to do okay it's a very good thing for an aries <laughs> coming in if you can be okay not knowing with uncertainty feeling like you're being caught out of your comfort zone it is going to help you do something you really want assert yourself be more independent break free from anyone holding you back to do some things you really want to do <laughs> okay so i do see that being a good thing while that's going on here around march 10th i'm starting at the beginning of the month and going through it <laughs> While that's happening, around March 10th, we're going to have Jupiter here start to go retrograde in your 8th house of changes. So as you're starting to, I want to say, understand better what new thing you need to do, step into a new identity that you feel is going to be better for you here, I think you're starting to review some changes that you've made in your life lately to make sure that you've been making the right changes, that these changes are good for you, and that you can start to step into a life that you know you really want and that you know really works, okay? So that to me is what's coming in there on March 10th. Then on March 17th, we've got the new moon finally right here in your 12th house, really helping you to step into a new life that you've been formulating to understand where you want your life to go better and to hopefully feel more comfortable, even though the full new moon's gonna be conjunct Chiron, <laughs> uh, but to hopefully start to understand better what you need to feel more comfortable on the inside. Okay, as to where the beginning of the month, you've only been thinking about what you need to feel more comfortable in life and what changes you need to make. I think towards the new moon, you actually start to step more into these changes, start to begin to move toward some kind of new career or new life direction, even if it is uncomfortable, okay? So that's what's going on there. Then after the new moon, these planets, especially the sun and moon, come out of Pisces and move here into Aries. And what happens then towards the second part of the month is it becomes less, the month becomes less about what's going on inside you and what you need internally, and it becomes more about living and doing and acting on these insights that you have received lately, okay? It could be a little bit uncomfortable to make the transition here from thinking about things spiritually, thinking about things in the mind, to actually doing them outwardly in front of people for people to see. But I think if you have patience and have faith, and I think if you trust the process, even if you are feeling uncomfortable, okay, I think it is ultimately going to be better for you the second half of the month to be more open with what is going on with you and actually start to create the things that you have just been formulating earlier, okay? So that's what I'm gonna, oop, <laughs> what I'm gonna leave you with there. Now I'm gonna erase the chart and talk about the second half of the month after the new moon, which happens on March 17th. I just didn't want the chart to get a little too messy. <laughs> so that's why I'm gonna erase it for you. And we're gonna start here. Aries, this is you, your first house. Okay, the second half of the month, we have a lot of planets here in your sign. Happy birthday. <laughs> um, okay, and what that's going to bring on the second half of the month is you acting on you. You doing things you know you want to do, you know you need to do, and putting yourself out there. Okay, once you start to act more, though, and move forward, the challenge then becomes Saturn and Pluto here in Capricorn, which for you is your 10th house of your career and your reputation and your social standing. As to where Pisces here sextiles Capricorn, um, Aries squares it. It's a much harsher aspect. So maybe at the beginning of the month, <clears throat> as you were listening to yourself inside, <laughs> it was getting a lot easier for you to think about oh, where you want your life to go. It was getting much easier as you were paying attention to your spiritual needs to 
create the career that you wanted to feel much better about your life direction but now that you're actually taking all of this stuff that you felt internally and putting it outward now that people are actually knowing what's going on inside you knowing what you want in life then it becomes a lot harder for you to start to <clears throat> build on your life to start to put your life in the right direction in some way okay it's almost like it's easier for us to be quiet about what we want and it's harder for us to have everything hit the light of day and for us to actually have to do the work to make all of this happen and i think the second part of the month really becomes all about you having to put in lots of effort lots of dedication and lots of determination not to just do something that you want to do but to make sure here that it's putting your life in the right direction, that it's moving your life in the place you want it to go in, that's giving you the reputation and the social standing that it is that you want as well. And I think if you can do your best to bring all of those parts of your life together so that you're moving in the right place, it is ultimately going to help you. Okay, that's because all of these Aries planets are eventually towards the end of the month going to come into a trine right here with the North Node and Leo in your fifth house of happiness. So you really put in the effort the second half of the month, even if it's taken, you know, even if it's uncomfortable or it's taken a lot of work, I think is ultimately going to help you here to be happier, to do something you want, to feel much more comfortable about where your life is going and just to bring it all together. So I do see it being very positive. Also, <clears throat> what's going on at the end of the month is that we have Mars entering Capricorn, a very good thing since it's your ruler and it likes being in Capricorn. And we also do have Mercury going retrograde here in Aries uh, and, and in your sign um, towards the end of this month. Okay, Mercury is going to go retrograde, retrograde on the 24th of March. And I think with that saying here, as you're trying to move forward in your life to do something you want and to do the things you want to put, it your, li put your life in the right direction, I think you're actually going to have a lot of help here to do it. <laughs> I do. I, th I think you're going to have a lot of motivation with Mars in your 10th house to do some things you want, to create the reputation that you want, to make some really, really big progress that can last. And I think you're also going to have like the strategic mind here almost to make sure that this direction that you're moving in is not just like some random direction, but that it's actually good for you, that it's actually what you want, that it's actually going to help you be the person you've always wanted to be. And I do see, even though the end of the month may take lots of determination, I think it's going to be very, very good for you to finally help you do some things you want, move your life in the right direction, create something that's better for you, okay? So I see it being very positive coming in, even if it's a little bit uncomfortable towards the middle of the month, all right? Then the last thing I want to talk about on March 31st, the last day of the month, is that we do have a full moon happening in Libra, which for you is your seventh house of partnerships. <clears throat> All right, and I think as you're trying to build something in your life that you want, that, that you feel is better for you, that can last, that's really going to make you happy, I think the end of the month, you start to think more about, okay, who are the relationships that I need in my life to help me do these things? <laughs> who are the people I need on board with me? How can I get my relationships in the right place and in order here so that I can start to focus more on what I want, doing something that's important to me, making sure they have the right people with me who support my progress and aren't going to hold me back, okay? <laughs> um, and I think that's what's coming in at the end of the month here is you're trying to make sure not only that you can do some things that you want and that you're doing it in the right way to put your life in a good place that can last, but that you got people that can help you to move forward in the right ways, okay? So that's what I'm going to leave you with this month, Aries. Now your card for the month. Sorry, I got a little tickle in my throat this whole time. <laughs> Uh, but your card for the month is the Magician Upright. This card to me, I love this card, <laughs> is really all about, I think, manifesting power, having the, the power to manifest, to create something that you want. Normally people, when they see this card, say, as above, so below. I like this, especially with planets moving from Pisces into Aries. I think if you've had some vision for your life, if you've had some inkling, some spiritual inclination, intuition about your life, I think this month, especially the end, is going to give you the opportunity to make it happen, to manifest these things that you've wanted, these things that you've been envisioning inside yourself for so long. The only thing you need to do here is to believe in yourself, to be patient, and to use everything at your disposal to make it happen. This card to me does indicate you have it. You have what you need. You have the talent. You have the money. Okay? You just need to be patient and diligent and to work hard and you will eventually 
create the life of your dreams that's new and better that will make you happy if you just keep moving towards it all right so that's what i've got for you this month thank you so much for watching my horoscope if you like it please like it on youtube subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and i will talk to you later